नवरात्रि के चौथे दिन माँ दुर्गा के कुष्मांडा स्वरूप की पूजा की जाती है माँ कुष्मांडा की पूजा करने से अनेकों कष्ट और विपदाओं से मुक्ति मिलती है tiny island in the middle of the Forgotten Sea. Wild and with a raw beauty, it was the home of magnificent creatures created by God. And thanks to the extraordinary talent of a man, it became our home. It became our new beginning. And to whom do we owe our survival? I am, of course, referring to our distinguished guests. Please, a warm welcome for John Preacher. Do you really know the man who escaped from the meaningless battlefields of World War III? The man who fought against the sea. The man who death forgot. The man who defeated silence. After surviving the war which finally ended all wars, and bearing the terrible knowledge of what was the true nature of the danger that lurked humanity, he decided to take the road that no one would have dared to take the path of our salvation. Alone, without food or help of any kind, and guided only by a slight echo of his soul, he found the hole. Where a normal human being would see it as a gateway to hell, he saw a door to our salvation. Axiom defeated the silence. Axiom rose above the nothingness. Axiom advanced towards a new future. The explanation as to why the bell can repel the swell from the sea keeping the island safe is, I imagine, quite complicated and scientific. It most certainly is, yes, but you know, your question, um, is this ambition we have to aim higher and higher. And we have evolved looking towards the future without ever stopping to think that it may, in fact, be our grave. And this is why we at Axiom have initiated a program of monitored involution. The Involution Monitor program is the key to our survival. With just three simple pills taken once daily, our citizens do not feel the need to move forward except if it's for the common good. Technology is not the way to happiness, but happiness is the way to greatness. An interesting theory, and I can assure you it will be a fascinating reality. Behind Axiom there is hope, there is future. Behind Axiom, there is a plan to ensure that we never again face the darkness. Be very clear about this. We need everybody to understand, really to feel, that we are not moving backwards. That we are, in fact, taking steps towards our well-being, towards an inner and outer state of grace. At this point, I feel obliged to ask you about the distorted angels, John. There are ways to distinguish these dangerous elements of society. They never make eye contact, 
shame and intrigue forbids them from doing so. Truth doesn't lie in their mouths, but in their hands. Besides, their now lost consciousness led them to mutilate the ears so as to not hear the echo that guide us all. But do not feel sorry for them or afraid to report them to the authorities, because we can cure them all. Our beloved preacher doesn't only seek the welfare of model citizens, but also provide forgiveness for all the lost sheep. What can you tell us about Black Icarus? If you have seen this man, please notify the authorities. The Black Icarus is an agent of chaos, an envoy of silence destined to end with our loved and hard-fought lifestyle. But these angels would have it that there is a countdown to the arrival of Black Icarus. Now, why is it, do you suppose, that this man is, is, is so obsessed with bringing silence to the world? That day will never come, my friend. I can promise you. The bell will ring tomorrow. Everything will be fine. And everything will be fine. Again. 
Namaste, 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 namaste